surface. <laughs> Sandy Cheeks versus uh, yeah, Three, another Aang. Two, two Aangs in top one. eight. Pancake Mix, the Soul Sandy representative. And you know, Pancake Mix manages to make that ledge planking work as well as he did in Loser's Eights. We might not have any Aangs in top four. That's a wild sentiment. Yeah, right? Given the, the players that have been in this bracket, like, no Aangs in top four is actually going to be massive, but that's all Pancake Mix to make that future a reality. And what better way to do it than with a string of flights? Aangs recovery, though? That vertical, it's that vertical nice. coverage, looking like AT and T out here trying to get back up to the stage. It's a very trusty glider, you got. Yeah, is it? I don't know. I just well, look. Of, uh, in my brain. <laughs> I'm on that Google Fi stuff, you know. What I'm <laughs> Ooh. Bro, that's the thing. Like you saw the way that ASAP was dash dancing afar. That was incredible. Like a lasso play, dude. phenomenal. Right yeah, now. and that's why ASAP's respecting him. When he's dash dancing, he's making sure to keep at a distance that he's out of lasso range because you have to be. I love that teeter, by the way. Pushes him towards the right and then just comes right back from the right side. See, and that's what I was talking about earlier. Where even though Sandy herself doesn't make the best use of the platform, if your opponent's trying to like wait you out on the platform. Your moves are good enough to put your opponent into theater, and then big punish potential. Don't you grab him? Just picks him right back up, like the the, the, the laziest like thing you can do. It's so funny. It's, it's so good though. <laughs> I know. I freaking love grabs in this game, bro. They are so funny. They're so good. Okay, I love, again, there's that spacing I was talking about. ASAP. The reason, the reason he's dash dancing like that is because he's trying to bait out the lasso, and trying to go for a punch because Aang can punish that if, if you see Sandy Cheeks whipping. And there you go. The approach inwards where the lasso isn't acting, it ends up just pushing to offstage play. But overall, it seems like uh, Pancake Mix is forced into a situation where he has to be a lot more proactive in this set. He doesn't have the luxury of being able to flank at the ledge. There we go! Counter! Very rare that we see the uh, like the RPS mechanic come into play there. But good pickup on it too, recognizing that situation comes up and you gotta capitalize on it immediately. You knew exactly what to do in that situation. Wow, you can't escape! Wow. I thought for sure ASAP got away from that because of the way he was fast falling to get away from like the boot. But then he just went all the he had a stock to play with, so why not chase him all the way down to the abyss? Yup. Problem is that ASAP managed to D like DI the situation fine, but position Aang in a way that was just even worse. It only took like the one down like to guarantee that. So you're just to seal the deal. Bro, you you're not kidding. We might see two Aangs get fifth. And then no other Aangs in top four. Genuinely shocking. But hey, something's gotta be done about this Sandy at the ledge. It's terrifying. It's, these jabs, bro. <laughs> yeah, she I remember when they were better. Like, yeah, it's like we we took away an infinite, but at what cost? She, she just she doesn't need the infinite anymore. She can just land it over and over. Okay. Speaking, Speaking of, of landing over, over and over, yeah. there's baby. Like even if they don't make a seamless transition into a train of their lights, it's still really good for asserting that stage control, wrecking up that damage, and then Aang has no problem with finding the kill right afterwards. Up heavy, just barely not managing to do so. Ooh. Yoink. Oh, good toss. Juke. Take that. Oh, there we go. Dash attack the strong. Not gonna be able to get the kill just yet. Sandy. Wow. Pancake mix. Still surviving. 168% in this game? More common than you think. Yeah, you know, in conjunction with Sandy being like towards the, the heavier end, she's still in the midweight uh, category. But, she's spacey. Like, like, yeah. She really is a spacey. Yeah. Like quite literally. She is also just really good DI making this. Like <gasps> Oh my god, that was such a struggle. He's really trying. Pancake Mix still surviving at 196, about to hit the 200 percent, and still putting up quite the fight. Lands the lasso upon landing, and now all of a sudden, Pancake Mix has himself a completely big advantage. And now, back to Nooch. Yo, just waiting for that opportunity where jabs will connect, but you can't be putting out jabs when you're that deathly a percent. Nonetheless, though, Pancake Mix brings it to a dead even, lightning fast. This is a two stock match, bro. This oh, a two stock. Match. Some matchups really are like that. Yes. Give me one, please. No. no, no. Get back. 
really good call from Pancake Mix, trying to bring the interaction as high up as you can, so you don't have to worry about the, uh, the pressure from the down lights. There's that dash dancing again, trying to bail that. I, th I think uh, Pancake's trying to catch wise, though. Like, he can't be throwing out Lasso. And yet the Lasso tricks oh. are still working. Bye-bye. This is Pancake's Rodeo. We're here for the show. Are they way they be schmooped? They do. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Really uh -oh. Uh -oh. Okay, he got out. That could have been disastrous for ASAP. No! Are you serious? Oh, one damage to Bro, he turned the tables on him! The exact same, not the exact same ending, but like literally he had two stocks to play with, so he just kept doing the town. Just stomp on him. Get down there! Sandy Cheeks wipes her feet on this wall. <laughs> All the mud and the grime from when it came, traveling this far into the bracket, just wiping on ASAP. Bro? This is how the, uh, the nomadic urban tribes end. Oh my god, no! 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 <laughs> this is why Ang was the last one. <laughs> They're extinct because of Sandy. Yep. <laughs> It wasn't the Fire Nation after all. <laughs> it was the Squirrel Nation. <laughs> Look, out, Look out. Okay. Two stocks. Whatever. Yeah. Didn't happen. I mean, both of these characters showing that they can just end stocks where necessary. Both of the players proficient enough at being able to do so if given even the tiniest of opportunities. These games are getting faster and faster. Like, at this point, like two games ago, we were at the four minute mark. Now we're at the 520. Like, it's... It's that mile a minute play, Austin. It's the way that this game is just meant to be. And this is na nature is healing. What? Oh, I have a counter? <laughs> nature need to go see a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> is that part of nature? I, I mean, I mean, I mean, nature created humans, right? So like, humans became doctors. So now I don't know where I'm going with that. Let's let's get back to the. <laughs> 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 Oh god. It's okay. It's been a long week, bro. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh! Good escape. Like the fact that ASAP is like forcing these bouts of safety between both players. And like it's breaking into more proactive play on ASAP's call. Is a very big shift from how we've been seeing. Most of the proactive play has been more than Pancake Mix is ready to stop planking and start getting kills. I love that Pancake Mix has been mixing up what they get off of the lasso, by the way, because if they go for they're on the right side and they land it, yes, you can go for the strong hit and then get more damage, but you'll notice that Pancake Mix is going for grabs instead because he wants to turn the point around and get the advantage state instead. Because advantage state is way more important. They're taking damage because look what just happened as I was saying it pancake mix comes in ends it 